Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be about recovering from losing absolutely everything. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And I'm going to explain ways and means of being able to recover after losing everything. Now, I can speak with authority on this because 22 years ago, I went bankrupt uh, through divorce. And uh, before going bankrupt, I thought we had a, a reasonable life because I was earning a lot of money and I had four jobs. And uh, okay, we had a lot of debt, but I had a, a plan. So when I retired at 50 years old, I was gonna have up to 10 houses and we were gonna have maybe a million pound or so in the bank uh, because of my businesses were, were going okay. Everything seemed to be okay. And then divorce happened. Now I'm not gonna go into the reasons for divorce and things like that, but it, it was quite a, a traumatic time in my life with the divorce with the two kids and things like that. It was horrible. But I had no say in it, you know, and that's what happens when the wife decides she wants the, a divorce, then the divorce happens and there's basically nothing you can do about it. So I went from thinking everything in the garden was rosy, we're going to have a, a good life. I was uh, supporting my wife and my kids, so she didn't have to work. That's why I had four jobs. And then, as I say, divorce happened and I lost everything. And uh, going from quite, I thought, quite a wealthy lifestyle. We lived in a nice house, we had nice holidays, everything, uh, to like living in a bed sit. You know, how far could you be down the ladder, like losing everything? And um, from my businesses and my houses and things like that, uh, divorce just ruined me. And um, as I said, the reason why I lost everything is because um, under the divorce laws, where I was earning and I was having four jobs and things like that, they were going to take a huge slice of my money. And the more I worked, the more my ex-wife got for, you know, money off me for maintenance and things like that. And she, she hadn't worked for a, a few years because I was doing more hours, so she didn't have to work. I said, no. And I, I packed in everything that I had and I went through a divorce. And because of my payments were very, very high, um, you know, divorce happened and I ended up going through bankruptcy because I couldn't afford the houses that I had, the car that I had. So, traumatic time in my life. But that was 22 years ago now. And this is where I live now. I live in a beautiful country, in a beautiful area. But 22 years ago, this was for me unachievable because I just think to myself there's no way I can recover from this and it was horrendous it was an awful time in my life but I've got to turn around and say uh, going through bankruptcy and that as, as difficult as it was opened my eyes and I had a different outlook on life and a different view on life and that's what I'm saying at your deepest darkest hole of going through financial ruinization if if you like and losing everything to being able to recover from that and I'm going to go through some steps on how you can how you can do that and how basically how I did it because when I went bankrupt, it was like the end of everything, you know, the, the end of all my dreams and the end of all my aspirations and how am I going to recover from this? Because at the time I was 42 and I could retire at 50 and I always planned on retiring at 50. And um, But divorce was going to put an end to that, or I thought. And then I talked to a couple of um, 
people that help me along the way and they give me various suggestions on what I can do and how I can cope with it and how to recover from it. And basically, to start off with, you've got to do, and this is sort of the best information that somebody's helped, reassess, reevaluate what you want. Um, I was working to have a comfortable lifestyle when I retired, you know, to have as much money as I could. And I felt by having a lot of money, it give you a better lifestyle. And I'm sure it does. But also, I re-evaluated me having to work seven days a week doing four jobs. What sort of lifestyle was I living? You know, to make money for the rest of my life so I could retire on a good income, well, I thought it would be a good income, for the rest of my life. And whilst it was working, there are so many things that can put an end to that. And divorce is one of them. Bereavement is another one. And uh, being sacked or, you know, losing your job. There are many reasons where your plans might not come to fruition. So you have to then reevaluate where you are and where you want to be. Now, if you live in one of the Western countries at the minute, Wow, it's a mess, isn't it? And would you want to retire? Can you afford to retire in these Western countries? I know the income that I have now, ah, so probably knows. I know now the income that I have now, I couldn't afford to retire in the UK on the income that I've got. Now, I was lucky that I I had a job that I got a private pension and that kicked in when I was 50 so I retired when I was 50 and that was only eight years after going bankrupt and losing everything couldn't get a house couldn't get a mortgage couldn't get a loan but I learned from that and I recovered from that and it opened my eyes the fact that in this materialistic world you don't need all the material things. You know, the top iPhone, the top car, the top caravan, the top holidays. You reassess. And you look for, okay, it's extreme, but I look for another country that could give me a better standard of living than in the UK. And when I retired at 50, I traveled the world for two years looking for various places and here I am did I make the bad choice did I make the right choice now I live in Thailand and I've lived in Thailand now for 12 years and I've loved every minute of it and I never ever want to leave this country because for me it gives me everything that I'm looking for Nice warm weather, nice people, nice lifestyle, all of which I couldn't afford to live in the UK. So basically, it's like this video was how to recover. And the biggest recovery is yourself being able to recover from this. Look at your outgoings and incomes. Look for a place that you can live, afford to live, because once you get to 60, you know, I ache every morning when I get up and there's aches and pains everywhere. You're never ever going to escape from that. Basically, the older you get, the more infirm you get. And if you're looking for a job, unless you're absolutely super duper at whatever you're doing, your employability is getting less and less. So you're going to have less and less opportunities to work and get an income. So again, if you're already at 60, you have to take further precautions that you don't actually lose everything. Because if you lose everything, you're never going to recover.
So that's what I did when I lost everything and I was in that deepest, darkest hole that anybody who's watching this video might be already in. And all I can say is that there is a recovery method and it's up to you to be able to do it. You can't do it without any money. And if you do have another 10 or 15 years in you, this is the time that you've got to look at the future. This is the time that you've got to look and think, I want to retire when I'm 60 or 65. So you make hay while you can because you've only got one chance and if you want to try and retire on little or no money your retirement isn't going to be a very very happy retirement at all you are going to struggle so make hay while the sun shines whilst you can and have a plan and i would say a 10-year plan in 10 years you can make an awful lot of money And in 10 years, you can make enough money to probably live for the rest of your life in comfort. Maybe it's in your, not in your home country. Maybe you have to look elsewhere to a, a cheaper country. But when all's said and done, is that the end of the world? The fact that you've got to move to a, a cheaper country to, to get the lifestyle that you want or you deserve. You know, I like England when I would live there but I don't like England now the way it is because it seems to have lost its way it's on the slippery slope to discontentment and I ask people name one good thing that's happened in England in the last 10 years and nobody can because I don't think anything good has happened in the last 10 years or nothing worth not notary wise to say this was good, this, is, this happened. So, you only have one chance when you get to over your 60s. So make the most of it. I've done some videos on my divorce, losing everything, or did I? And how I recovered from divorce, how I felt. So, if you're interested in them, give them a look. Maybe it's two or three years or so ago now, but the information's still relevant. So if you are going through the process of a divorce now or losing everything, everything isn't lost. 22 years ago, I got divorced and lost everything. And now I live in a beautiful country, beautiful lifestyle. I can afford to live here. Um, Everything is good and it's took 22 years, but actually only eight years or 10 years for when, when I retired from the fire brigade. So I moved over here when I was 52 years, uh, yeah, 52 years old. I traveled the world for two years, seen so many, many things. So leave your comments down below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. So from Les Retired and Never the Dream till the next video, bye for now.